How many secrets of our world we still don't know? Some of these have been revealed, while others still represent puzzles, that not even the most attentive eyes has been able to solve. Here is to one of the most unreachable places on our planet, a place where life is pushed to its absolute limits. Let's take a closer look at the hidden world, of the most exclusive destination on Earth. The Mariana Trench. It is the deepest point of the ocean, and it is located northwest of the Pacific, at the meeting of two tectonic plates, in a subduction zone, where the Pacific Plate insinuates itself, under the Philippine One. When they collide with each other, one of the two descends deep into the mantle, giving rise to an underwater depression to be explored, and known precisely as an ocean trench. A gigantic underwater valley that goes down to 36,000 feet deep, 1,250 miles long, 43 wide, and vaguely arch-shaped. In the southern portion of the trench, there is a deeper depression than the rest of the valley, baptized the Challenger Deep, where the deepest points of Mariana are located in three underwater pools. The extreme darkness, high pressure, and its freezing cold water create a challenging environment for creatures to survive in. For many years it was believed to be a lifeless inhabitable void, until the 19th century, when this was all about to change. Many mysteries and many curiosities about this place, were satisfied by the Challenger Deep expedition. This was the first time Mariana's depths were plumbed. The name Challenger comes from the British ship, that first measured its depth in 1875. The sounder reported a value of just 26,000 feet. And since then, each subsequent measurement has gone deeper. In January 1960, 85 years later, Jacques Picard and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh, aboard the Trieste Bathyscaphe of the US Navy, were the first to reach the bottom of the Mariana Trench, measuring a depth of 36,000 feet. A practical example to understand its depth better, if Everest, the highest mountain on Earth, 30,000 feet above sea level, were located inside the Mariana Trench, it would still take more than 6,500 feet to reach the ocean surface. At the bottom of the trench, Walsh and Picard were surprised to find particular species of sole or place, about 30 centimeters long, and even shrimps. The bottom is a white-gray mud, we could see through the plexiglass porthole by turning on the headlights. The water was crystal clear, and the temperature was 38 degrees Fahrenheit, while inside the bathyscaphe there were 50 degrees. We stayed at the bottom for 20 minutes, and we were also extraordinarily lucky because we were able to see two animals, a shrimp and a kind of sole. It was a huge success, and only the beginning of many more dives, in the further discovery of this whole new planet. After them two submarine robots had succeeded, the Japanese Kaiko in 1996, a submersible vessel built at a cost of $50 million by the Japan Marine Science and Technology Center. Approximately 3,000 different microbes were identified in the samples by the vehicle. Years later, in 2009, thanks to Nereus, was there the possibility of following the entire submarine robot dive, guided by a fiber optic cable. Nereus, 15 feet long, also had the ability to collect rock and sediment samples. Then there was James Cameron, the first man to reach the Mariana Trench alone. Before him the Deep Sea Challenger had already touched the bottom without a pilot for a test. I have just arrived at the deepest point of the Pacific Ocean. Hitting the bottom has never been so good. I can't wait to share with you what I see, these are the words spoken by the Canadian director, who has made some among the most loved movies of all time, like Titanic and Avatar. He was supposed to remain on the seabed for six hours, but he finally got back up after two hours and 36 minutes, due to a problem with the hydraulic system of the single-seater submarine. However, this did not stop him from completing his mission, which was to take samples of the marine soil, and take photos and videos, that would help scientific research. While the Mariana Trench may seem like a dark, lifeless pit, it hosts more life than you might think. The extremely frigid and sunless depth of it is teeming with living species, largely unknown, including bacteria and thousands of microorganisms. 
Among these there were also found crustaceans, with a very similar appearance to shrimps with a twig-like appearance, very skilled in camouflage, and in collecting food and debris on the bottom of the sea, giant filamentous protists, with soft calcium carbonate tentacles and shells. A recently concluded NOAA expedition, photographed dozens of other new species, revealing surprising colors and adaptations, like the Gorgon star. Spotted at a depth of about 16,500 feet, with tentacles which intertwined, like the leaves of a vine and form unusual filamentous skeins, making this organism resemble a pearly white seaweed. Another unique creature observed at around 20,000 feet, is a huge pink-colored lobster, much larger than its siblings found in the Pacific. At about 30,000 feet deep, a new species of fish was identified, crowned with the name of ghost fish. This name has been attributed to it, thanks to its white color and the thin transparent lateral expansions, necessary for moving on the seabed. And among all the unique creatures, found at the ocean's deepest point, at the very bottom of it something mind-blowing was found. It was plastic. During a dive to the bottom of the trench, Dallas businessman, Victor Vescovo, claims to have found a plastic bag. It's the third time plastic has been documented in the deepest explored part of the ocean. Of the classifiable debris recorded in the database, plastic was the most prevalent, and plastic bags, in particular made up the greatest source of plastic trash. Other debris came from material like rubber, metal, and cloth. The fact that we found such extraordinary levels of these pollutants in one of the most remote, and inaccessible habitats on Earth, really shows how deep of an impact humankind can have on the planet. But this is only the beginning. A long journey of discovering new secrets of this extraordinary but frightening black void awaits us. Scientists aren't going to stop in front of anything, and neither will the species that are born there every day.